Hello, firsties. Today we're going to be talking about the bossy R, and the bossy R is a type of diagraph. Do you remember what a diagraph is? Remember, two letters come together and make one sound? Well, that's what the bossy R does. What it does is it changes the sound that the vowel makes. So let's take a look at the different types of bossy R's that we have. We have the A with the R, the E with the R, the I with the R, the U with the R, and the O with the R. So it's always a vowel in front of the R. Now normally, the A's short sound is A. But when it gets coupled up with a bossy R, it makes the R sound. Kind of like what a pirate would say. R, like in j R, jar. Now the ER, the IR, and the UR all make the ER sound, like a rooster goes ER, 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 ER. Sometimes the ER, IR, and UR are referred to as the triplets. We have clever, twirl, and cur-earl. They're triplets because they all make the same sound. Now the other one we have is the O-R. Normally the O goes ah, but when you put it with the R, it's or, like in orange, or north. So I think of an orange for the sound that the O-R makes. I'm gonna show you some examples of some of the words that we have with the bossy R. Let's take a look at the O-R. We have a storm, a f ork. Now, what is that? What is it pointing to? A f orn. So we have two digraphs. F or n. Mm, five letters, but only three sounds. Let's take a look at this. What is this? Statue of Liberty holds it. A t or ch. Another diagraph, the OR diagraph and the CH diagraph. T or ch, torch. All right, let's take a look at the AR. Now, I know a lot of you guys are gonna like the AR because it has one of your favorite words in it. What is that? Sh, R, K, shark. Ooh, my favorite diagraph. Shh, 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 ark. Remember, this is the pirate sound. Shh, ark, shark. Okay, what is this? K, ar, car. Oh, what is my sweet little angels? Y'all play this. What is it? H, arp, harp. And we used to play with these when I was a kid. Mmm, marbles, marbles, more than one, marble, marbles. What is this? St, r, and this is actually bland. St, 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 r, star. Okay, let's look at the i r. Remember, it's part of the triplets. It's gonna go r. Sh, er, t, shirt. What is this? B, er, d, bird. When do we have a cake and hats? At a b, earth day party. I'm so sorry, those of you who have birthdays this month and you're in your house, but I hope you have a wonderful day. Sk, er, t, s. Skirt, skirt. Oh, what kind of animal is this? Chipmunk. Oh, that didn't have an er in it. Ah, it's a squirrel. Squ, er, roll, squirrel. All right. The next part of the triplets is the er, and we have a picture of a tiger. Tiger. 
Oh, what is that? Oh, huh. uh, let's see. I don't see that word on here. Looks like a flower. What they didn't put? Did they put flower on here and I can't see it? Oh, well, that's what it looks like to me. All right, how about what's this picture? Fa-e-r. Er. We a lot of times we have that er at the end. Now this is an outlaw word. We would think that would be feather, but it breaks the rules and that e makes the short sound. Fa-e-r. Spider, spider, chunky monkey, am, ham, mer, hammer. All right, the last of the triplets. The U R R to R K E turkey. P Purse. purse. What about this one? What is he? T er t l k er t n curtain. I almost said window, but window doesn't have an er sound in it. Ch er ch six letters, but only three sounds. Church. Okay, let's see how that works. I'm going to take a piece of paper. It has the AR on it. What sound does the AR make? Remember, it's what the pirate says? Arr, arr. And I'm gonna write the word pat. P, a, eh, t. The A is short. That's called a breathe. I put that above the A just to show that it makes the short A sound. But what if I squeeze that bossy R right here? P, A, R. R. T. What's my new word? Right. Part. Let's do another one. Mmm. At. Gotta put a breathe above it because it's short. M. At. Mat. Now let's squeeze an R in there. See if you can figure out what it is before I say it. My R. Mart. What is it? Mart. Like Walmart. Alright, let's try the OR. OR. Remember? Orange. How about the word? Put a blend. Sp. Ot. Sp. Ot. Spot. Now remember, I'm going to squeeze an R after the O. Sp. Or, t. what word do I have? Right, sport, like football or basketball. How about, sh, ah, uh, t, my favorite diagram. Sh, 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 ah, t. Let's squeeze, remember it's a short O. I didn't put the short O on that one either, did I? Oops. I'm gonna squeeze that R in there. Shh. Or, t. What's the word? Right, short. Shh. Or, t. Which is the opposite of tall. Right, good job. All right, let's take a look at the triplets. The R. Let's start with the E-R, clever. It's one of our triplets, clever. Let me underline that. Let's see, how about this? Now this is gonna be the soft sound of G. G, I, M, gem. Like a diamond or a ruby is a gem. Now let's try and squeeze an R in there. G, R, Mm. Germ. Germ. Ooh. See a lot of those going around. I gotta, I gotta sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. Kill those germs. Wash my hands. Get them clean. Ooh, it's peach flavored. That smells so, well, peach scented anyway. Well, let's try another er. Ooh, I want to talk about this one's kind of tricky. Look at 
at that word, rule. Hmm, it's got the silent E on the end, doesn't it? What about, I'll put a bossy R. Err. What does the word turn into? Rule. Err. Ruler. You're going to see the ER at the end of a lot of words. When you hear that err sound at the end of the word, it's going to be the ER. Okay, the ER is the err sound that comes at the end of a word. All right, the next triplet, next part of the triplet is the IR, little Miss Twirl. Let's see, what does she like to wear? Let me see. Chunky monkey, it. Chunky monkey, kit. Sk it. Skit. It's like a little play. Now I'm going to squeeze that R in there. Sk. Er. All right, let's try another one. Ch Train's favorite diagraph. Ch 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 ch. E. P. Ah, forgot to put that short. Forgot to put on that one, didn't I? Ch. E. P. Let's squeeze an R in there. Ch. Er. P. What's the word? Ch. Er. Like what a bird would say. Good job. Ooh. All right. The last of the triplets is the UR. Let's take a look. This goes er, just like the ER and IR. Uh, let's see. Hut. H U T. H -u -t. Squeeze an R in there. H er. What's the word? Good, hurt. How about this one? It's the hard sound of C. K. Uh. B. Cub. Like a little bear. Little bear cub. All right, let's squeeze the R in there. K. Er. Uh. K. Er. Curb. Do you know people break their ankles all the time falling off a curb? Unbelievable. But it happens. All right. To review, bossy R is a type of digraph that changes the sound of the vowel. The A becomes R, E R I R U R, also known as the triplets, goes R, like the Richard says, R. And the O-R goes or, like in the orange. All right, guys. I have downloaded a lots of fun songs about the bossy R. Um, one of them was from a long time ago from the electric company. And there's one with a lady that just really has the bossy R screaming. So you're going to have to watch them all and see which one you like. And until then, I'll talk to you later. Bye.